Happy Costa has been a registered nurse for over 35 years and has recently become a CNM trained health coach. Today, we had the pleasure of interviewing her to learn more about her story and experience of studying at CNM. Hi, Happy. Thank you for joining me today to share your story and experience with us um, of being a CNM health coach student. Hello. Lovely to meet you and it's lovely to be here today. Now, you've recently completed your health coach diploma that you studied online, which is fantastic. So, well done. Um, so, Thank we're you. really looking forward to hearing how you've progressed since, since graduation. But firstly, though, can you t- please tell us a little bit about yourself and what you did before studying at CNM? Well, I've been a nurse for about 30 years. I've worked in the UK and I've also worked in Botswana, where I originally come from. And I've worked in different sectors uh, in the healthcare settings. And during my time when I've been doing nursing, uh, most of the time, obviously, we're dealing with uh, patients who are already sick. You know, when they come to us, they they have uh, diabetes, they may be having a heart attack, they may be having a stroke, they may be having gastroenteritis, they may be having uh, liver problems, a variety of illnesses because I've worked in different sectors. So I've seen so many people coming with uh, debilitating illnesses, which I know and I've always known that some of them could be prevented. But my role as a nurse was not in that I was not in that position where I can help patients prevent those illnesses because when by the time I see them, they are already ill. So yeah. throughout these 30 years, it's been great to look after these patients to help them get better. But I always knew that there was something lacking that I could have done. What attracted you to CNM's health coach course? Well, um, when COVID started, um, I was still working as a nurse, uh, as an agency nurse in one of the hospitals in Manchester. And uh, while I've been working, you know, as a nurse, seeing some of these patients as well who were affected by COVID and knowing full well that a lot of them um, ended up in hospital because of the vulnerability. You know, their immune system was quite low. That's why some of them ended up uh, in the hospital instead of, um, you know, catching the COVID and then recovering at home. And then uh, I started doing, um, uh, looking for a job as a clinical contact tracer because my husband was uh, diabetic type 2 as well so that I could work from home and uh, try and speak to these clients who are affected by COVID and advise them on uh, prevention of uh, the spread of the virus, you know, while they have the virus, how they can Mm -hmm. look after themselves and make sure that their loved ones who they live with will not also, you know, catch the disease. And that really inspired me. And uh, I realized that, no, I need to find something that will help me actually prevent all this from happening. So I started looking around and uh, I thought, oh, CNM, it looks <laughs> like it's actually offering what I'm looking for. Because when I went on the website, um, I realized that uh, they do health coaching. And I went on to see other practitioners who have been uh, also who were actually inspiring because I listened to some of the videos. They were talking about how they started their journey with CNM and how it helped them. And then I realized that ah, uh, this is where I belong. I need to be in that group of people where they are actually talking about prevention. And, mm-hmm. you know, there's a saying that uh, prevention is always better than cure. So while I was doing uh, my searches, I then contacted CNM and um, the questions that I had about the course were answered instantly and I was quite happy to just uh, register and then I started working because while I was doing clinical contact tracing, working from home, I decided that, okay, because there's an online option, there's a face-to-face option, I'll go online because then I can do clinical contact tracing during weekdays and then during weekends I'll go online and uh, you know do my course and that was really a great option and it was it just came at the right time for me and since then when I started now going through the um, what you know the CNM was offering I noticed 
a lot that was missing from my side even though i've been a nurse for a long long time there was still a lot that uh, that was missing that i didn't know about and i'm grateful that cnm is providing such information to us yeah it's an amazing course very very comprehensive and as you say, the flexible study options yeah. helps, you know, it to fit into other people's life, you know, everyone's lives. So um, right. cause most of the time people are working full time or they've got family commitments. So yeah. having that flexibility to do it online or at the weekend yeah. is key, really. Yeah. That's yeah. amazing. So what did you enjoy most about the course? Well, it's very hard to say because throughout <laughs> the course, I was always smiling. Believe me or not, I could sleep at midnight just carrying on because uh, the lectures online, you know, when I was listening to all these lectures, I was just enjoying it so much that I never wanted to stop. But I would yep. say the main one out of the modules that I, I studied, I think the 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 one that uh, talks about how the body works it really yes. really it really really inspired me because you know when we do our nursing course we learn about how the body works but then over time while you are practicing you start forgetting about uh, certain names you know like uh, yes. which which uh, body part because when i'm talking to a patient and i'm going to give them an injection you know, I won't start talking about the medical terms. I'll just say, oh, can I have your arm? <laughs> I need to give you an injection. <laughs> yes. But then yeah. when I started relearning about all the, you know, different uh, body parts, how they work, um, and then going on to the nutrition, and then finding out information about what food nutrients are good for which part of the body and then combining these two i think these two um modules were absolutely brilliant for me i really enjoyed every single day when i was uh, you know doing that but having said that when i came to uh, health and fitness as well i thought amazing you know <laughs> because then i started connecting the three I yes thought, you know when it comes to health and fitness it also has a real a big role to play in our daily lives if i'm not moving much i mean i started looking at the fact that in hospitals we admit uh, elderly people unfortunately sometimes when they go in uh, they they don't have space to move about as they they would do if they were home no. and then it means that mo mobility starts reducing instead of us making them better it's like well they came with uh, maybe a cough or with pneumonia but because they can't move as much as they should and the space is not just there it means then they end up uh, deteriorating and yeah. see that happening it's always been uh, really um, something that I, I I thought I wish there was something we could do about this so learning how to combine the you know the, the that module about uh, how the body works and the nutrition was absolutely fantastic because they they all match I, I don't think there's yeah. any module that i would say was not really helpful even the um uh, the coaching one because that was actually helping me on how i can then speak to clients and help them out i think the coaching module also really helped me in knowing how to approach clients and how to work with them and make it um, so easy for them to follow everything that we plan. So that yeah. was absolutely brilliant. Like I say, all the modules are really, really excellent in, <laughs> in the business and marketing. When I got to that, I thought, wow, that's even better. <laughs> so it's helping me to get ready to go out yes. there and start marketing myself and be able to say to people, hey, I'm here. This is what I can do for you or this is what we can do together to help you um, get better or have uh, good health. So it's a very difficult question to answer. <laughs> the whole thing was brilliant. Um, no, yeah. I love that. And we hear that time yeah. and time again. I mean, everybody does love that how the body works module yeah. because – if you need to explain things to a client, you need to understand how the body works and, and, exactly. and what's happening before you can recommend sort of the nutrition and the dietary recommendations. So, and, and as you say, those specialist coaching skills that you're getting is key as well. Yeah. Yeah. And you've kind of got all the tools, the marketing and business tools to get your business set up straight away. So, um, 
which is amazing. So how would you say studying the health coach diploma has changed your life? Oh, it has changed my life in a massive way because when we were doing the coaching module, um, we had to have real clients out there to yeah. start practicing on them. And who did I start with? I started with my husband because he's a type 2 diabetes and he yeah. was also obese. And I've always been interested in uh, helping patients with their diabetes because uh, um, I don't know if you know that in the UK, you know, the NHS spends over four billion um, just on managing patients with diabetes. And there's so much that you can do to stop that happening and saving that money. So Absolutely. with my husband being one of them, I needed to start with him. So <coughs> it was lovely guinea to pig. see him. <laughs> he was my guinea pig. <laughs> <laughs> so it was lovely to see him improving with time as we were talking and him also, you know, realizing that, oh, there's a lot here that I could do myself, you know, for myself to make sure that um, my diabetes doesn't get worse um, because uh, he started managing to lose weight. And mm -hmm. uh, when he started losing weight, it meant that uh, the readings, because uh, he's able to check his um, blood sugars at home. So the blood yep. sugars became a little bit better. And then when he went to the doctors as well to get this um, HbCA1 checked, which is uh, going to show the readings for the last three months, that was also improving. So seeing him going through that journey while I was uh, doing my uh, um, my course was something that I really looked forward to doing and helping other people out there, not just him. So I think the coaching actually has really helped me because in the past, when I started the course, I thought we will be telling people what to do. Little did I realize that, you know, the client actually is the one who has to determine what is going to be best for them. And you just, you are just there to help them with the knowledge, but also to just be an accountability friend for them yes so that uh, throughout that journey you are there they know that uh, you know next week when you meet again uh, they need to show that there's been some improvement and that itself is quite encouraging so i love the way the coaching module was uh, designed well it's key isn't it because um, yeah. you are that support person for your client and and it's about working together collaboratively collaboratively um to yeah. um get them to their health goals you know exactly Mm -hmm. No, yeah. that's amazing. Yeah. Um, and how how fantastic that your husband has lost weight and that his blood sugars are, are reducing and he's, his yeah. health is improving. That's absolutely amazing. So what are you doing now that you're qualified? At the moment, um, uh, uh, because with the business um, module that we did, um, we learned quite a lot about uh, uh, setting up uh, blogs, uh, you know, yeah. obviously writing up our content setting up uh, packages uh, for our clients so at the moment that's what I'm trying to do to make sure that uh, once I start um, marketing myself out there then I've got all this information ready for my clients I've got the website developed and uh, also registering with the main legal um, um, you know organizations to make sure that I'm practicing legally so since I only completed my uh, training in December and obviously with the holidays as well, some of yeah. these things uh, take a little bit of time. So that's where I am now and I should be ready to start anytime now because uh, the information is already in my head. <laughs> All Fantastic. I need is just to complete the legalities and then uh, I'll be helping clients who uh, my, my niche is uh, to work with clients who want to lose weight and yeah. clients who are suffering with their type 2 diabetes. That's my niche and those are the ones I'll be um, trying to help as best as I can to make sure that, uh, you know, the journey um, is going to be a wonderful one and they can achieve their goals within a set uh, period of time that we will all be, you know, agreeing towards. What are you planning to do? Are you planning to work um, just in private practice or are you going to work from GP surgeries? What kinds of, have you thought more about where you're going to position yourself? Yeah, it will be private practice because uh, I, I enjoy 
talking to clients in such a way that there's that flexibility between myself and them uh, yeah. whereby if the client has got problems then i know i can you know trick my hours i can uh, make sure that uh, everything is just about them so mm -hmm. it will be a lot more better for me to just focus on uh, those clients i'll also be um talking to uh doing a little bit of the corporate uh, the corporate as well whereby you know if they do have clients who are uh, who obviously need uh, those services i can do group sessions whereby i can yeah. just teach people on certain things about uh, weight loss and also um, how to prevent or manage their diabetes if they suffer with diabetes so that's going to be where i will be doing and i feel with that flexibility it will just help me to be more productive and help my clients in the best way possible Absolutely. And I think as a health coach, the world is your oyster, really. There are so many career opportunities. And yeah. as you say, you can go down the corporate route, you can do private practice, yeah. you can work in the NHS, you yes. can write books, you know, you can work in a gym, you know, there's so many, that's so right. many avenues that you can go down. Well, that's yes. uh, amazing. So, well, all the best with everything. And thank you so much for for sharing your story. It's such an inspiring one. And, um, yeah. yeah, the world needs more health coaches. Um, so, so, well done you for, 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 you know, taking the bull by the horns and, and getting out there and doing it. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. Like I say, my journey with the CNM has been a brilliant journey and I'll recommend CNM to anyone that I know because uh, I know a lot of nurses out there who have uh, been working in the healthcare sector for quite some time, but uh, they are getting to the retirement uh, stage. And I would like to say to them out there, you know what, there's nothing like retirement. There's other avenues. There's yes. a lot of help that, uh, you know, you Using your nursing background, you can, you know, once you get to CNM and uh, study the health coaching course, y y you're going to help massively because, uh, you, you know, people out there need your services. Absolutely. Now, do you have one piece of parting advice for anyone who's thinking about studying to become a health coach? What would you say to them? I would say don't hesitate. Mm -hmm. Just go for it because uh, when I went online and checked all the information, it was just tick, 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 tick. I couldn't find anything that will stop me from doing the course. And I believe yeah. that uh, since I've worked in the hospital setting and uh, I know exactly how people are suffering, I believe that uh, there's, there's really a great demand for health coaches because we want to make sure that, uh, you know, the um, the hospitals uh, can be manageable, you know, staff who are working in hospitals can manage and without us being there to stop people getting ill or help them to manage their conditions, it's just uh, not uh, really great because once they are in the hospitals, um, they lose hope. But if we yes. help them while they're still out there in their own homes where they know that they have that flexibility to cook their own meals, you know, go shopping, do the shop, you know, the type of food, you know, buy the type of food that they need, which is going to be good for them. It's, it's a massive help for everyone who is going to need that kind of service. So it's been a really brilliant journey. And I would say just go for it. Don't hesitate. Absolutely. Great tip. And that's it. It's just about pa passing that knowledge on. And, you know, there are ways to improve your health, no matter yeah. what stage, um, you know, yeah. even if your diabetes is really bad, yeah. or you are very obese, you can always do those things you can do. So but it's about having that support and that knowledge, which is what yeah. health coach does. So that's amazing. Yes. Brilliant. Oh well, thank yeah. you so much, Happy, for your time and uh, and for sharing your story and all the best with everything. Oh, thank you so much for having me. It's been a brilliant journey, I must say. Thank you so much again. Thank you so much. Become a health coach today. Head to www.thehealthcoach.com to download a prospectus or request a call from one of CNM's experienced course consultants.